Denise Helms is another racist individual who decided to write about Obama's re-election on her Facebook page. And uh, she said something that got her into a little bit of trouble. Let's take a look at the video. Denise Helms thought her personal opinions were just going to her Facebook friends. Now her mother tells us that it was an ex-boyfriend who took a screenshot of the racially explosive post and flooded the internet with it. You'd think you'd take more care when writing a post. It goes both ways, I think. And, and, and it, for some people, you know, they, their impulse is not to say mean things or, or, or rude things to somebody in person. The assassination part is kind of harsh and I don't, like, I'm not saying like I would go do that or anything like that by any means, but if it was to happen, I don't think I would care one bit. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad she's learned from this. <laughs> okay. So, I, what? the assassination thing is a little harsh. It's a little harsh. Okay. But if it happened, I wouldn't care one bit. Yeah, like, but am I not merciful? I'm probably not going to be the one to do it. Uh, by the way, the N-word stuff, that, it's not even, it's like, yeah. no yeah. big deal. No big deal at all. So She was working at a Cold Stone, Cold Stone Creamery, and because of what she wrote on her Facebook page, she got fired. Oh, so they Cold Stone creamed her? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're becoming unbearable. Okay. Yeah. So, should she have been fired? Go. Um... Yeah, it's a private company. If the private company had a problem with it, then yeah, she should be fired. It doesn't reflect well on the company that you've got an em uh, employee saying this. Look, the N-word, you could have gotten into a, a question, you know, and it, it, of course, everybody should understand the private company has all the right in the world to fire her, right? right. Should they have fired her? N-word, you can get into a question, but look, it does reflect poorly. The assassination part makes it a no-brainer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't have your employee s saying, Oh, it wouldn't be so bad if the president got assassinated. That's crazy talk. <laughs> of course you, you can let her go. I'm amazed that she got into so much trouble over this, and then she kind of doubled down on it. Yeah, yeah no, but that's, that's because she believes it. It's unbelievable to me. To me. And yeah, this and, and, is but a But that goes to a larger lady. issue, though. That's, I'm glad you brought that up, because we talk about this all the time, the different bubbles that people live in, like the Wall Street guys. Mm -hmm. Like, if you try to charge an extra dime of taxes to them when they're paying record low taxes, they're like, how could you? One of the hedge fund guys, or he might have been private equity, said that President Obama considering extra taxes is like Hitler marching into Poland. Oh my okay? God. And he was Jewish too. So like other Jews were like, how can you say that, right? Because he lives in a bubble that if you take an extra dime from him, it's like Hitler, right? And for these people, I believe she's probably lives in the bubble where like, what do you mean? Everybody I know thinks Obama's an N-word and yeah. everybody th wishes that he was dead. Well, so if a camera's here, I'm like, yeah, of course I want that. Where does the extreme hatred come from, though? I mean, when you, when you really look at Obama's record and his obsession with compromise and his obsession with conceding, what, why are people, so, it's, it's because Anna. of his race. Like, that's it, that's all it is. Of course, <laughs> of course it is. Now look, it's not purely that, because they hated Bill Clinton, too. I mean, not we for, to this extent. No, 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 you forget, you for, but like, look, I was there, okay, uh -huh. they hated Clinton. Now he's more beloved because, you know, mm -hmm. oh, he was Bubba, and, and he was so successful, et cetera, et cetera. Now, is there an extra element because of Obama's race? Of course there is. And that girl's working at Cold Store Creamery and hating her life. Yeah. And she's got to find someone to blame. And the person to blame is the black guy. Right. Okay. Right. And now that the black guy's in charge, oh my God, he's definitely the one who caused all my problems. That's what they're thinking. <laughs>